In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to enable animated wallpapers on your iOS device's home screen and lock screen, all without jailbreak. So the first thing you guys have to do is go to this GitHub page, which will be linked down below. And we basically just have to install Nugget, which will allow us to get these wallpapers. Nugget supports from iOS 17 to 18. So make sure you guys do have a device that is in fact running that. Also, one key thing to do is to go into your settings app for your phone and make sure that Find My is in fact disabled. It needs to be disabled in order for the poster board process to in fact work. So just make sure you guys do that before you guys do download. And to actually download, what we have to do is just click on releases here. And then you see the latest version is 5.1.2. And what we have to do is essentially scroll down until you see assets and then you'll see right over here. I'm just going to click on nugget windows zip. Obviously, it depends on whatever you guys have. So if you guys have a Mac, then you guys can choose based on the ARM or the Intel versions. But anyways, once you guys have it downloaded, what you guys have to do is just wait for it to in fact download. And so all you guys have to do is extract it. And so now that it has been extracted, all you guys have to do is navigate to the folder until you guys see nugget.exe. So just keep clicking on this. And as you guys will see, you will see nugget.exe here. So just double click on that. And then it'll say Windows protected your PC. You can just click on more info and then click on run anyways. And then you'll see this little command prompt window here. But make sure you guys do not click X on here or else the entire thing will not work. If anything, you guys can minimize it. But I'm just going to leave it how it is. So now what we actually have to do is just connect your device. So just get your phone, connect your device here. And then as you guys can see, even though my device is connected, it still says no device, please connect a device. So if your device is not trusted by the computer, then it will show that. So make sure that you guys do trust your device first. And then also what you guys have to do is just click on this little refresh in the top left here. So just click that here. And then as you guys can see, you'll see my phone, you'll see the iOS version, and then it'll say partially supported if you're on iOS 18.2 or ahead. And basically what that means is the other features on Nugget potentially might not work, but for the live wallpapers, it will work no matter what iOS 18 version you guys are on. It just says partially supported here. And so now what we have to do is just go into the poster board section here. And then as you guys can see, you'll see a bunch of settings here. The first thing you guys are going to do is just click on modify here. And I do also want to say that if you guys do want to use the other features of Nugget and your device is fully supported, then you guys will need the mobile just file from your iOS device. However, for this video, and if you guys just want to use the poster board feature, then it is in fact not needed. Anyways, as you guys can see, it does say import files in brackets .tendies. And so before Nugget only supported a .tendies file, but now they added support for .mp4 videos or even .mov wallpapers. So you guys can import those as well. However, if you guys don't know which wallpaper you guys want to choose, or if you just want to find some general ones, then you can just click on find wallpapers here. And then it'll lead you to the website right over here. You guys can scroll down and just go through all the wallpapers. So I'll just be downloading this wallpaper here. So just click download. And so now that the wallpaper has in fact been downloaded, you guys can just go back into Nugget here and then just click on import files over here. And then obviously you guys can just go to your downloads. So you can just go here and then click on your file here. And then from here, you guys have to click apply and then click apply changes. But before that, make sure that a your device is in fact still turned on and make sure that it is not locked. And B, like I said at the start of the video, make sure that find my iPhone is in fact off. And now you guys can just click apply changes. It'll say extracting and then restoring to device. And then you guys will get a notification saying all done. Your device will now restart. So just click on OK and your device will now start to restart. And so now we're just going to head over to my phone and on your phone, what you guys have to do is go into your settings app and then in settings, you're just going to navigate to wallpapers and then swipe all the way to the right. And then when you get to new, just click on this here and then scroll all the way down until you guys get to down here until you guys get to collections and then in collections if you guys just keep swiping to the left 
you guys will see your wallpaper here so as you guys can see this is the black goku wallpaper that i did download so you can just click on the wallpaper here and then as you guys can see it is in fact moving and then obviously you're just going to do it just like you do any other wallpaper so just click on add here and then set as wallpaper pair and then now you can just swipe up and it should take a second or two to load so just give it some time and as you guys can see, it is in fact working. And also if you guys swipe down on your home screen, you guys can see the wallpaper on your lock screen and this is how it looks. And as you guys can see, it is pretty sick. And I highly recommend that if you guys do not really care too much about battery life and just want a cool wallpaper, then definitely go ahead and do this. Anyways, I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.